Welcome to our modest play. First, let me set the scene. Queen Elizabeth I, possibly England if not the world's finest monarch, has earned the deciding victory over that damned Dago, Philip II of Spain, forcing what is left of his shoddy armada to ruination as they make a doomed escape into the serpent-filled body of water known as the North Sea. Celebration doth ensue in a small dimly lit tavern nestled within the streets of Plymouth Hoe, where our heroes take to ale and wine. Ahoy there, my land lovers! It be my absolute joy to raise a most deserved toast to her ladyship, Queen Lizzie the First. So raise those vessels, chaps! Hip hip! Hooray! I'd agree with that, all right. If it weren't for her, those Spanish cannons would have launched their armed balls all over the place, <sighs> making a radical mess of things. Oh, you got it right there, Riley, me old mate. Oh, yes, for sure. My arse would have been packed full of splinters. Good thing I'm harder than any score of filled galleons, and my gold behind is a surely testament to it. Well, I'd say you're spot on there, Drakey, old chap. You'd have been blown to smithers and your nether singed and baked more than one of those newfangled potato thieves I'm trying to flog to my mate, Harry. <laughs> yes, you stubborn bugger he is. He said that the Ramsden family reputation for toasted turnip would be an absolute tatters. It's so taters to him, I suppose. Well, I that our queen likes them for sure. Chipped and fried and served with a garnish of vinegar and sea salt flicked over them from a well-stocked captain's beard, <laughs> if you take my meaning. Anyway, anyway, Walter, my serious misgivings over that curvy smoking thing you've encouraged her to pursue. She's shrouded in a terrible smog these days. Oh, tish and pish. I'll have you know she's no grum-soaked sea dog like you, Francis. I'll think you'll find that the lady in the leaf are all the rage on this fine isle of ours. <coughs> oh, really? oh, oh, yes, yes. Yes, in fact, I even hear said that due to a severe shortage of pipes throughout the country, even the very lowest of maids from the very tiniest of hamlets and out of sheer desperation been actually rolling the tobacco into that of a true. Mm, yes, oh, yes, yes. Oh, dear. Sometimes that diligence of peasant beggars believe. Well, whatever next. Either way, how would you like to feast your eyes on this little bit of European treasure that has been handcrafted by lowly artisans in the county of Shropshire in honour of our Queen? Should be bounty enough for anyone, I reckon. Well, chin chin to that old fruit. A true treasure to behold. Anyway, Freddy, I fancy an ogle at the globe. I hear the tempest is doing the rounds. It is simply blowing the roof clean off. That shaky chap seriously knows how to pen a good yarn. Uh, fancy a bag, Franny. 